Okay, hi, I'm Ben Vader, and I'm going <laughs> to voice crackle. Alright, I'm going to be showing you this. Um, <laughs> you might be saying, um, how is, what, why did you tear apart a $60 Turtle Beach headset? Um, I didn't, I wasn't planning on doing it. It was an eventual overtime failure. Um, when I bought them, they look something like this, you know them. Um, their main thing is, the, I'm going to tell you the pros and cons. First of all, this is what I expected to fail first. You know what this is? The um, Turtle Beach headset thing. You've seen these things before. I expected this thing to snap, but no, they're actually really strong compared to most other ones. Like, you'd expect them to fail the quickest. Like, you can bend the shit out of these. They will not break. Um, now, I'm not guaranteeing that. I'm just saying that that's what I expected to fail first, and it didn't. And mainly the reason why I bought my Turtle Beaches, um, and I bought the $60 X12s, I think they were, um, because, like, at that time I was like, oh, I'll be like, because one of my friends had them, and I was like, wow, these seem really good quality. And really, they're not as much as they seem. Plus, people play Call of Duty, so they're like, oh, it helps you hear that. No, it's just that they're really loud. If you turn the noise up on Call of Duty really loud, yeah, you'll be able to hear minute things. So it, it it doesn't the turtle beaches themselves don't have that much to do. But this is the X12. I haven't tried the other ones, but I expect them to be much like it. Now, the main thing that failed here was this right here. There's this point where the cord meets into the thing. However, it's not secured. Like it, you can slip it in and out as you please. That's what she said. But um, but yeah, it comes in and out as. As it pleases, I'd expect it to be more solid. So I did. So eventually, what it did is, um, eventually, the cord pulled out enough to the point where it randomly made scratchy noises, and was frustrating and annoying. So eventually, that pissed me off. So I burned it with a lighter, but that obviously didn't keep it steady, and it still did the noises. So that's what failed first for me. Uh, well, actually, no, that's not what failed. That was the second thing that failed. First thing that failed was these, where the cord meets the. Um, where the cord itself meets the headphone jack, which looks like one of these, um, it just completely failed on me. Like, it started bending, and so I just put electrical tape, that, no problem with that, after that. Um, then this failed, and I could never get rid of the scratchy noises. It pissed me off to the point where um, I just decided to take off the muffs and put them on another one. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to label this Turtle Beach's secret, and that's exactly it. <laughs> It's like I like I guess you could say well it allows you to make it really fucking loud using the volume and using the bass and then you can make your chat as loud as you want in this but that's not really that special I mean I guess the bass is the only thing but otherwise you could just turn up your sound really loud normally with any other headset and it's like super well it's better than the um the ones that they come with I'll put a link in the description where you can actually buy those I'm not sure if it's like for five dollars but originally those Xbox headsets are about like twenty dollars. I on extre dealextreme.com, you can get them for under five bucks with free shipping. You can check it out; it's legit. Um, but I'll let you decide that. Put a link in the description to where you can get five dollar headsets, where originally you buy them for twenty, and the the headsets that you buy at like say Radio Shack for Xboxes are complete shit. I don't know why they charge so much for them. Um, but I bought mine for my um, laptop because. I expected to do a lot of commentaries, and I expected it to give me the best quality, and I was hoping for the best, but I got this. Um, but yeah, the main point in these, see this? This might as well be a Turtle Beach headset, except for the fact, this this actually came in a box of 10 at a garage sale. They're just regular headsets, but this, all of them normally have this, the rest of them had this, um, this, obviously, a uh, microphone came out of it originally, but that got ripped out. Um, not, I didn't do it, that was originally ripped off, so I eventually just cut the second red cord, because it obviously had no use, because when I bought it, this particular one was ripped out, but the rest of them didn't have that same problem. But what I did, basically, is just put the, the muffs, the ear muffs, on this, and it's just as good. Like, I, I encourage you to do that. Either buy a headset on Deal Extreme, which I'll put a link in the description where you can buy those headsets for $5, or, um, if you just like it for the comfort and quality... Just go on eBay and buy these fucking muffs. They're amazing. That's it. That's why they're so comfy. It's just the muffs. It engulfs your ear. It allows you to only hear it. It it takes out the ambiance noise. It's these these muffs. That's their secret. These muffs.
Just buy these muffs and put them on an existing headset. And it'll make it a lot better. That's the only thing they have. That's why it's good. Fuck everything else. It's not any of the software hookups. No. It's the muffs. It's the muffs.